Chester Carlson was born in 1906 in Seattle, USA, in the family of a barber. In 1930s, he graduated from California Institute of Technology, but he found it difficult to find a job. Chester Carlson left for New York. He worked for Bell Labs, and then he began working in the patent department of Mallory Electronics Company. He found this bureaucratic job dull and boring. When you need a copy of a patent, there was always none at hand. What to do then? Just rewrite it, take a photo? Just at that time, Carlson began thinking over a quick and cheap method of copying necessary papers. Chester spent much time in New York Public Library rummaging over piles of technological literature. He found interesting experiments carried out of one Hungarian scientist with substances changing their electric properties under the exposure to light. Finally, the idea of Electrophotography has come to his mind. On October the 22nd, 1938, the inventor Chester Carlson made the first photocopy. He wrote it in ink the date and the place of experiment on a glass slide. Then he strongly rubbed a sulfur-covered metal plate with a cotton cloth so as to apply an electrostatic charge. Then he put the plate under the glass slide and switch on a bright lamp. Under exposure to light, the charge flowed down from those parts of the glass where there were no written letters. This was a photoelectric effect as sulfur is a well-current conductor being exposed to bright light. Carlson powdered the plate with lycopodium powder from club moss spores, softly blew the excess away and pressed waxed paper to the plate. Powder stuck to the paper made the following words visible. 22nd of October 38, Astoria. This was the first photocopy. It took many years to make the electrophotography technology perfect. In 1947, Haloid, a little-known company, began designing copying equipment based on Carlson's invention. Two years after the first model of the copying machine was available in shops. However, it was still hard to use. The copying technology was called xerography from Greek roots, xerox, dry and graphia writing. Such name pointed out the difference from an ordinary photography requiring special fluids for development and fixing. Then the photo was dried. The word of xerography gave rise to a new name of Haloid. In 1985 the company changed its name to Haloid Xerox and then just Xerox. In 1959 there was a tremendous success of a new model 914. This model enjoyed every growing demand and Xerox earned hundreds of millions of dollars.